Today we're making a homemade beaker candle and, oh yes, I'm so glad it worked. Uh, but in order to understand how this happened, we, we gotta go back a little ways. So, so let's go back. Oh, I, I think I went too far. Oh, hands on deck! I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Last year. wanted to make a candle it's in a beaker and I thought why not so today we're gonna do that very thing with a little bit of paraffin wax it's readily available just about any supermarket and uh, it's super easy to work with has a nice low melting point and pours very easily so it's ideal to make candles with and I've got some cotton string that we're gonna use to make some candle wicks it's pretty simple you just need some borax and some salt and, and the string it's a pretty simple process I'll show you how to do it I'm just using a zinc washer to kind of weight it down and then we're going to dip it in the wax and this will make our candle wick. set the color a little bit with a an oak crayon.
know, baby, the beaker candle is a thing. And, you know, we got some other nice ones, too. I mean, uh, this one uh, is pretty. Nice and pretty. The crayon really set it off here. There really is a pretty simple process to just pour the wax and set the wick in place, wrap it around the little stick, and then just let it sit. You've got to let it all harden and solidify. But it really is a great use for some paraffin wax. I mean, you can turn this stuff into a candle that you could use, you know, when the power goes out the next time. See, they're pretty luminous and, uh, you know, good, good for an emergency backup when the power's out. Like now. Well, we did it. We turned some paraffin wax into a beaker candle and, and some other candles too, and it worked really well. And now you know how to make your own candles at home with just a few dollars worth of stuff that you can buy just about anywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down there. Don't forget to subscribe.